Welcome back to another diorama build video. This time I am making the Grok from the world of the Moomins. One of those characters that really scared me when I was young. Many crafters have mastered the throw clay on the foil technique. But I'm still at that stage where I have to wrap it manually. Once the foil is covered, I sculpt until I have the general shape compared with the reference pictures. In the cartoon, the Grok looks sort of like a solid ghost, so I make creases and drapery-like details to the body area. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I lost the footage of the sculpting of the hands. I stick the hands to the arms and attach a very typical Moomin style nose to the face area. Smiling or frowning, I wasn't sure which type of mouth I wanted to go for, but I guess it doesn't really matter, as I find her disturbing either way. The whole model is brushed with isopropyl alcohol before baking to remove all the fingerprints and tool marks. Now onto the base. I usually like to use some kind of wood or other hard material when making a base, but this time I thought, why not use styrofoam? It's right there in the pile of junk next to the workbench. Uh, if you are new to the hobby and want to try making your own dioramas, don't use styrofoam as a base. Anyway, I knew I had to make the styrofoam sturdier, so I mixed up a batch of plaster, mud parch, brown paint and water, then covered everything in it. While still wet, I add a couple of plaster rocks I had left from a previous project, and smaller plaster rocks and sand. A couple of hours later and the plaster has hardened, and I'm really regretting my decision to go with styrofoam. I need to find a solution to the messed up sides later. I use brown acrylic paint for the ground and grey for the rocks. I use a lot of water on the brush to blend the colors together. I really enjoy painting like this, adding layers of paint, wiping excess off, adding washes, everything adds up and gives an overall natural look. Before the glue has had time to dry, I mess up the grass a little bit to make it look less like a football field. The model is baked and ready for a black primer. I paint the cloth part of the model with a dark blue. Fun fact, this shot is not sped up. I then paint on a heavy crimson wash, then dab a tissue to remove the wash from the high spots on the model. The tissue left behind an interesting texture I did not intend, so a lucky mistake. The teeth and eye sockets are painted white, then an orange wash to the eyes.
a tiny drop of UV resin to each eye socket really makes the model look more alive. The lower part of the dress body area is dry brushed with a light blue. And that's the painting on the model done. The brook always brings with her frost, so I add white flowers to the base close to where I want to position her. To make the grass look frozen, my plan was to use pigments instead of paint. But I don't have any white pigments. But I found some chalk. Chalk? 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 Chalk. Have you ever used chalk in any of your builds? Please let me know in the comments what you used it for. I spray a liberal amount of isopropyl alcohol, then add a water and mud parch mix to everything. This seals the snow and any loose static grass or flocking to the base. Now onto the messy sides. I think the best solution is to cover the sides in a frame. I have this clipboard type material and it's a nightmare to cut. I roughly cut 45 degrees to the ends so the four corners fit together. Then hot glue the four pieces to the base. I then paint the frame black and with that, it's done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, take care.